hello all here i am before you to share one real time defect so for that i would like to google search for bmw emi okay just uh, google search for these two terms and by doing that you will get this search result emi calculator from bmwindia.com okay and when you go there calculate your monthly payments and drive home joy okay so there is like check by bmw models so i'll just go with a model let's say x and in that i'll go with uh, the new bmw x1 okay i'll just go with this variant and now the x showroom price is being shown as uh, x showroom price is being shown as 49 lakhs 50 thousand some asterisk symbol is there fine now there is a bmw 360 plan i'm going to expand that here, by default, whatever the options are selected, uh, if I'm doing a down payment of 12 lakhs 37,000 and 500 rupees, fine. To purchase this car, if I'm doing 12 lakhs 37,000, then the remaining portion of the amount, like uh, this, this car costs you like around uh, uh, like 60 lakhs or 50 to 53. If you say on road price, it will be different. Ex showroom, it will be different, right? Let's take this as 49.50 for now. Okay, so here the thing is 12,37,500 is a down payment as come by default and terms are 48 months by default. So I'll do one thing, I'll just take this to the last so that uh, whatever the maximum down payment I can do, I would like to make. That is around uh, 20 lakhs, near to the minus 20,000 of the 20 lakhs I'm doing. Fine. So now, if I increase this uh, to 60 months, just see guys, okay, if I increase this to 60 months, how much is coming as a monthly payment EMI? The remaining amount, for example, if I pay 20 lakhs, the remaining amount will be around 30 to 35 lakhs. For that 35 lakhs, some interest is being calculated for 60 months. The more the period, the less, uh, less amount should be there, right? If I choose the term for paying that loan amount of the remaining 35 lakhs, okay, if I take less amount of time, I have to pay monthly EMI of more more monthly EMI I have to pay. But here, what's happening is now at 60 months of loan term period, you see 33,832 is there. If I reduce that to 48 months, this monthly EMI should increase because the tenure for repaying the loan got reduced means the monthly payment has to increase, but it is decreasing. That's the defect. You see, it went to 21,881 and now finally you see in 24 months, if I reduce the loan uh, re repayment thing for 35 lakhs for 24 months, in 24 months, I want to pay 35 lakhs. It cannot be 7,946, right? Cannot be. This is a defect. I feel, okay, that this is a defect. And uh, what do you think, guys? If you also think that this is a defect and uh, the website, guys, have to correct it, just type, yes, this is the defect in the comment box below so that, you know, uh, so that uh, everyone can learn this kind of real time stuff. Very rarely we'll get a situation where in some real applications we'll get this kind of uh, defects and the defects comes when, generally when the websites are not properly tested. Okay. This is why software testers uh, work day and night to identify the defects. Okay. So, so just think whatever you feel like whether it is a defect or if you have any discussion point on this. Just put that into the comment box of this video. We'll discuss out there. So that's all. That's all I wanted to show a real-time defect in a real-time application like this. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.